All right, so after you're done moving around, you can only move around, by the way, when you right click in the screen, in the screen, right? The viewport, it's called the viewport. You can't do it over here, right? Or here. And then, you know. So they've already made a map for us, but this map kind of blows, all right? <laughs> no offense to whoever made it. So you can click on these, you see how it highlights, and you just delete. Just delete this. So I'm actually going to delete everything just for the sake of this video. And I did not know there were holes or whatever that is. Maybe it's shadow. Anyway, click. Okay, I don't know what I did. Ignore that. Click on that delete. Click on this delete. You know, let's just, let's just delete most of this. So all that's gone. And you know what? Actually, click on the model and delete him and click on this and delete that. I can explain what that is later. So now you just have the sky and this little gray box thing, okay? So what's cool is if you click on it, you can see what it is. Watch, you click on this. It's highlighted over here. This is the light mass importance volume. We can go after that later. Just let's just delete that for now. You don't need that. And what's this? Post process volume. Just delete that. So now all you've got are reflective, whatever, delete that. Scott, actually, documentation, delete that. So this is all you're left with. What's this? Ah, okay, so yeah, this is all you're left with. Right here, this is all everything that's inside your thing. You click on this, it shows. Click on this, it shows. Click on this, it shows. So now let's get started on the map. Let's make this just make it here actually. So you bring in, you go in geometry right over here on the left side. You can just drag these in. Boom. Box. Look how easy that is. So over here, you have commands for these little directional things, right? You click on this, you drag it, you can move it in that direction. Up, right towards whatever right it's a self-explanatory so you can move it with this you can rotate so there's the moving there's rotating right and here's scaling I love scaling so scaling means you click on the green look at that you just move your mouse oh, move your mouse look at that amazing and what's really cool is you can actually click on the if you can get right here, right? Right in between. You can do both at once. Wait, oops. See, I'm on the move. So you have to go to scaling. Look at that. And now you have your floor. Now, I want to make my floor thinner. So what I would do is, of course, click on the height, height thing and just lower it. See? Look at this. Look how thin this floor is, dude. You're probably thinking this is really thin right and you know what it is really thin so if you want to be precise you can click over here you see how it says scale so locations where where it's located obviously rotation rotation scale z right because then you just follow the freaking color dude blue blue you want to make it thicker make it a higher number look at this 0 0.5, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, see? You just play around with it. So I like 0.5, I think. So there you go, you have a floor. And you actually can just right click here and click play from here, because I deleted everything from the map, right? Look at that, your first map. Amazing, congrats. You are like, 90% done with your game So now you're probably thinking well that was really easy You know, how do I make like a room? How do I make you know, how do I make how do I add stuff to the map? So that'll be up next, but yeah, this is just to get you familiar with Just adding stuff from here, right? Just click and drag a cone you can drag a cylinder stairs and now you know how to do moving rotating scaling and just to delete and what this stuff is over here, right? 
And you know, if you click on this stuff, you can actually, uh, you know, details. So that's pretty much the basics. And in the next one, we'll actually make a room.